The focus question for today is what different techniques can I use to determine segment lengths? What different techniques can I use to determine segment lengths? Don't write this down, just pay attention for a minute, okay? If I give you a segment, there's three segments here, agreed? And I tell you that this piece is seven, and this piece is three, and I ask you for the whole piece, A to C. Can anybody tell me the distance from A to C. Yes? Ten. Ten. Excellent. Doesn't the little piece plus another little piece equal the whole piece? Okay. So what technique did you use there to find a segment length? Addition. Addition. Excellent. Let's say now that this a to C equals 17. And A to B is 13. How far is it from B to C? Yes? Four. And how did you do that? You subtracted. The whole piece minus a small piece equals the other small piece, doesn't it? You have to take that concept and it, it's a very basic concept. But that concept applies to every problem that you do today. That the two smaller pieces make up the big piece. And that a big piece minus a small piece equals the other small piece. Okay? So you could say that AC equals What's AC equal to? Isn't it AB plus BC? Agreed? And that AB would be equal to AC minus AB is equal to AC minus BC. The whole piece minus the little piece equals the other little piece. And that BC would be equal to AC minus AB. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. What if in this picture I said that this piece was 2x and I asked you to solve for x? If B to C is equal to 2x and B to C is also equal to 4, doesn't, B, doesn't 2x equal 4? And can't you divide by 2? And x equals 2. And what if I told you that AB was equal to 13x? Could you tell me how long AB was? If this piece is 13x and x equals 2, what's that distance? 26. 26. Very good. So using that same basic concept, 2x equals 4, well, x equals 2, you can take the 2 and substitute it and find other segment lengths. Okay? So now you're going to need to write this down. This is going to be a sample problem, an example problem. I'm in the middle of page 16 on example 5. Now you're going to be given some verbal or some text 
and you're going to have to draw a picture and solve a problem. Find the value of a and xy. So find, write this down, find the value of a and xy if y is between x and z X, Y is 3A. X, Z is 5A minus 4. Y, Z equals 14. Now, when you get your problems like this today, the first thing I want you to do is to draw a picture of what they've given you. In the, the picture is going to show y between x and z. So if you draw a line segment and put x and z on it, well, the problem says that y is between x and z. So in between there, put the letter y. It says that x to y equals 3a. Fill it in. x to y is 3a. x to z is 5a minus 4. So x to z is this whole distance. And that's 5a minus 4. And y to z equals 14. y to z equals 14. Now in algebra terms, or to answer the question, they're asking you to find the value of a and x to y. Those are the two questions. Well, didn't we just say that this piece plus this piece equals the entire piece? That a small section plus a small section equals the whole segment? Well. Algebraically, you can write that as 3a plus 14 equals 5a minus 4. Small piece plus a small piece equals the entire piece. So now, since they asked you to find A, you're going to solve for A. Subtract 3A from each side. So 14 will equal 2A minus 4. What would you do next? Add 4 to each side, good. So 18 equals 2a. What would you do next? Divide by 2, good. And 9 is equal to a. So there's the first answer in the question. They asked you to find a. a is equal to 9. Then they asked you to find xy. xy equals, xy is equal to 3 times a. Well, a is 9. So what's 3 times 9? 27. 27. There's the second part of your answer. a is equal to 9, and xy is equal to 27. Small piece 
plus the small piece equals the whole piece. Questions? <clears throat> Just below example five, there's a guided practice five. In that green box in the middle of page 16, here's what it says. Write it down. Find X and BC. So find X and BC. If B is between A and C, AC is 4X minus 12. AB equals X. BC equals 2X plus 3. First step is to draw a picture. B is between A and C, so A, C, and B is in between them. A to C, the entire distance, 4x minus 12. A to B is x, and B to C. 2x plus 3. The two small pieces added together equal the big piece, don't they? So your setup is going to be x plus 2x plus 3 equals 4x minus 12. And on this left-hand side, you have to combine like terms. What's x plus 2x? Good. 3x plus 3 equals 4x minus 12. What's next? Add 12 to each side. That'll work. So 3x plus... 15 is equal to 4x. What do you want to do next? Subtract 3x. Excellent. Subtract 3x from each side. So 15 equals x. There's your first answer. They asked you to find X and BC. B to C. So BC equals 2 times. What's X equal to? That's your 15, and then add 3 to it. So 2 times 15 plus 3. 33 equals BC. All right, so you're going to take the information from the problem and you're going to draw a picture. Insert the information. Write an equation. Solve your variable. Solve for the variable and then substitute it for whatever they ask. If they ask for AB, well, X would be equal to, or AB would be equal to, in this case, 15. Any questions? Your assignment for today, it starts on page uh, 18. So, page 18, you're doing 5 through 8. 
And then on the next page, 21 through 24, part of that assignment is to check the odds in the back of the book as you're doing them. And when you complete the assignment, check headline for homework. No, what you're going to do, 